Hi everyone and welcome back to some more reward 1.0 So, let's continue where we left off And we need more food I was going to kill that turtle, but maybe we should kill something easier than that Like a turkey And a raccoon Because it might take a little bit too long to kill a turtle This should be easier Let's speed things up a little bit We need to have some food stored because right now we are only hunting when we're super hungry And we need some food for our guy Hopefully we'll be able to recruit him, that's what I'm hoping for Because that will make things quite a bit easier Once we get a second colonist But there's no guarantee, obviously Okay, we are trying to recruit him Come on Probably not going to happen on the first attempt there's a 13% chance right now. Okay. Let's butcher the raccoon. And then we'll kill the turkey. Alright then, so let's go kill the turkey right away. And yeah, feed him. He's probably a little bit hungry by now. I'm guessing. And eat ourselves. And that's our food gone. Yeah, that's why we need some food in advance. Alright, let's kill the turkey. Is there anything else around here? Other than the turtle. That might take a little bit too long. Well, there's a squirrel. I guess we can kill it. I don't think I want to chase and hunt a grizzly bear. That's a bad idea. Let's maybe not do that. Remembering our first attempt here. Here, we got the turkey. Now we can butcher it. So, do exactly that. How fast is it going to spoil? Two days, okay. So let's leave it like this. That's 28 turkey meat. And recruitment failed. Alright, that's fine. We'll kill the squirrel, I guess, because that's quick. And this will be enough. I don't want the food to start rotting, obviously. Here, yeah, that will be fine. Two days. Alright then. So. We are going to need more wood, because we need to build another bed, and another room preferably Because we don't have a bed for Nicole And there's no need to mine the granite anymore So let's build another room, it doesn't have to be huge But we need something This is probably good enough Yeah, this is going to be good enough And a bed Can we build it before it's night time? Probably not, it's almost night time already We can get started 16% chance now We should be able to recruit him eventually Because the chance to recruit him will keep going up It's just a question of how lucky or how unlucky we are going to get Well, there's the bed So here It's not quite indoors just yet, but That's fine She's not going to bed just yet we got 58 steel We should probably make a knife That sounds like a good idea How much is that going to require? 30 ingredients Alright then And we should also mine the uranium Because that will be worth quite a lot Once we get another trader Extreme break risk Yeah, it's because she's hungry and she's recreation deprived Alright Oh, right, we got the steel knife from the guy we captured. We should probably move that to storage. Maybe there's no need to make our own knife just yet. Although this one is not in a very good condition. But yeah, this is going to be fine for now. Starvation. Yeah, yeah, she's sleeping. Calm down. It's fine. Yeah, her mod is not exactly amazing. Now she's going to eat, and let's move that knife We can always sell it, and make our own Okay, feed the dude And we need some recreation, like seriously, we do We can change our priorities a little bit Okay, add some of anything We can add a little bit of recreation time I guess that's acceptable you know what, sure, let's add 2 hours of recreation time Because I don't want her to have a mental breakdown, that would be pretty bad Depending on what exactly it would be Let's finish that room And there it is, it's done 
We also need a floor, but that can wait. That's not really a priority. What's the quality of the bed? It's normal. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. I'll take it. So, we'll get some berries. And maybe some wild hill road. Yep. Just to have at least a little bit, in case somebody gets an infection. Like, this guy could still get an infection, that's definitely a possibility. Okay, now she can have some fun, get her recreation up, and get her mood up. So, another recruitment attempt. Come on. There we go, we got him. Okay then, so, Geralt. How about we rename him? We can rename him, right? Uh, where did you rename people again? Because I haven't done that in a while. Current mode, information... Can we actually rename him? Yes. Okay, so... He's going to be... Bradford, because why not? <laughs> Here, you are Bradford now. Why not? What are his skills? He's not bad. 12 in artistic is not exactly super useful, but... He's passionate about mining. He has 4 in shooting. He has a little bit of skill in almost everything, except social. But Nicole has 8 in social. You know what? How about we rename Nicole? You know what it's going to be. Nicole is going to be Valen now. <laughs> so Bradford and Valen are stuck here together. Sucks to be them. Okay, now we can actually name our community and our quote-unquote town. Well, the faction, I mean. Well, it doesn't really matter too much. I don't have any witty ideas. <laughs> Bakersfield, yeah, sure. Why the heck not? Or we could name it Bradfordsfield. <laughs> Here, Bradfordsfield. Just don't let it go to his head. Alright, well, this is good enough. Okay then, so, our chances of survival just went up quite a bit. However, we are not safe just yet. Well, you can't ever be safe in Rimward, but... This is still going to be harsh with only two people. The next thing we need... is a fridge. So I'm thinking maybe in here. That seems like a decent idea. And we'll mine out all that uranium. But yeah, let's wall this off and then we'll start working on a generator and a cooler. We have enough construction skill, we just need the actual materials. So... Oh yeah, that's water, right? Yeah, shallow water. But this is still good enough, unless we want to use this area as a fridge. That's not a terrible idea, actually. I don't really want it to be huge. We can mine out this granite and place a cooler here. New recruit, yes, I'm aware. Thanks for the update. So this should be his bed now. Yep. Set owner, and that's going to be Bradford. Oh, and we should set the work priorities. So, let's just do it manually. Firefight on one. Who's going to be our doctor? That will be Valen. She has five. Okay, then. So, like this. Yep, something like this. One in bed rest, one in basic. She is going to be the warden when necessary. Was Bradford social? Zero. He is not going to do that. Animal handling, I don't think we'll be doing a lot of that right now. She also has 18 cooking. We will be cooking eventually, but not just yet. Hunting, they can both do that. Construction, yep, that should be high priority. Okay, Bradford has three in growing. So that's going to be his job right now. He's also passionate about mining, so that will also be his job for the most part. He has three in plants, so that's higher than Valen. He can also do that. Smith, yeah, we won't be doing a lot of that right now. We can keep it low. Like that, Taylor. Yeah, only three in crafting, but we'll need some clothes eventually. Art isn't really a priority in any way, shape or form. We will not be doing any of that anytime soon. 
hauling, while well, hauling should be highest priority for both. When there's something to haul, that is. Cleaning? Bradford can clean because he has less to do. We will be doing some research eventually, but not yet. And it seems appropriate that Valen has good research skill. She has 10 in research. But yeah, we are not going to do any research just yet. That's lower priority. Much, much lower priority. So, the next thing we need is a generator. That's what we need, like, right now. We'll probably build it somewhere outside. On this side... How much do we need? And which one do we want? Probably wood-fired generator. We need 100 steel and two components. We could build a wind turbine, but it's less reliable than a wood-fired generator. First of all, we need some components. We got some components over here. Alright then, we'll mine them out. And then steel, and we need to keep up on the food. Yeah, we don't have a whole lot of food left. We need that fridge quickly though, it's almost spoiling. Spoils in less than a day. Is anyone hungry? Maybe you can eat before bed? Yeah, she's pretty hungry. She can eat before bed. Alright then. So first... Need a material? Oh, she's already butchering it, right. Meteorite! Okay, hold on, I'll check that in just a moment. Which food will spoil the fastest? This one. Let's eat that then. Consume turkey meat. What about that meteorite? Oh, that's quite convenient. Compacted steel. It's not super far away. Well, it will be useful in the future. Where's the closest steel deposit? Yeah, this one. This one is obviously the closest. Alright then. So, how's Bradford's health? It's fine. It's totally fine. Alright then. So this will be the cooler. Once we get a power generator. Minor break risk. Yeah, I mean, we will be getting a break risk. It's kind of hard to avoid that. Right now it's mostly because he's hungry. But he's also sleeping. Oh, also, one more thing we need is set his priorities. So maybe he can have two hours of recreation in different hours. Yep, and let's guarantee some work time. Like this, maybe one extra hour of work. Yep, this looks reasonable. Fine by me. Go sleep. Spoils in 30 days. Can you eat raw fungus safely? I'm not entirely convinced. Food poison chance, 2%. Well, knowing my luck, that would definitely happen. It's 2% on everything, isn't it? Yes, so we have 2% chance to get food poisoning, which would be pretty bad in our current situation. Berries are safe, however, but they last longer, so I don't really want to eat them first. Major break risk for Bradford. I mean, yeah, that's because he's hungry, that's it. That's all it is. Get up and eat. What time is it? 3 a.m. Okay, then. Well, he'll be starving by the time he wakes up. He's also still in serious pain. Ugly environment. <laughs> he has some expectations, man. He should be glad that he's alive. Not complain about ugly environment. Some nerve. Anyway. So, let's mine the compacted machinery. Our next priority is the power generator. So, that's what we are working on. And then we can maybe get the tailor's bench, you know, to make some clothes, because we will be getting a mood penalty. Oh, cargo pods. What did we get? Nice, potatoes. 30 days. Oh, that's just perfect. That's actually amazing. That is so good. It's not even too far away. Yep, we should haul them right away. Let's finish mining the compacted machinery. I'll just cancel the other three. But this one is almost done. Yeah, let's finish mining it and then haul it back. And then we'll go get the potatoes. This is amazing. At least food won't be a problem for a while. Now we can work on other things. Rare thrombos. Yeah, let's not mess with that guy. Definitely not. I'm glad he's quite far away from us. So, 
what are you guys doing? Treating up patient. Wait, is he still a patient? I guess he is. Well, alright. Carry on then. So, did we already grab all that food? And uh, now we most certainly did not. Oh, this is her recreation time. Fair enough. Get that meter up. We definitely don't want her to have a mental breakdown. Or anyone, really. Okay, that will be almost all of it. And we got quite a lot of berries around here. So I'm not too worried about food anymore. But we need to work on that power generator. It will take a little bit of time. But we only need, yeah, one more component. So... Let's go mine. And then we'll get steel. Yup. We'll need quite a bit more. How much do we need exactly? 100 steel. Okay, and we got 58. So we don't need that much more. One more component, though. Let's get that done. Low medicine, yeah, I'm aware, thanks. We should also start growing our own stuff. Let's see. What's the fertility? 100? It's going to be 100 everywhere, I think. I think so, yeah. Yeah, it's 100 everywhere, as far as I can tell. Alright, well, let's start growing something. I'm thinking rice, because that should grow fairly quickly. Remember that we can grow year-round. So, rice plant. And maybe some cotton, because we are going to need that sooner or later. Let's start four areas. So, let's see, cotton plant. Then hill road. Oh no, we don't have high enough growing skill. We need eight. Right, so we'll have to rely on either traders or wild hill road. That might be interesting. We could plant some smoke leaf, I think. No, we don't have four. Okay, yeah, we only have like three. Here, and potatoes or corn. For a little bit of variety. All right. But first, the generator. He's still in bed. There. Insulting Valen. Are you serious right now? Oh, he had the mental breakdown. Okay, then. Well, I don't want them to fight each other. Insulting Valen. He's not going to attack her, is he? He's just insulting her. Is he going to attack? Uh, yeah, he's just going to insult her. All right, whatever. That's not very nice, you know? Maybe you should go back to bed or get to work. You need to earn your stay. Don't you even dare attack her. I don't want any injuries. Well, he's not going to be very useful right now. And we still got plus 30 from extremely low expectations. <laughs> that won't last forever, obviously. Do we have 100 already? Almost. This one should be enough, I think. We don't need to mine nearly as much. She went to bed. Okay. Well, that was an interesting day, certainly. But hey, we are still alive and we are doing okay. Insulted times 4, minus 17. Okay, now that's harsh. It will expire in 1.8 days. Right. Well, just don't have a mental breakdown, thanks. Awful bedroom, unsightly environment, minor pain, naked, 8 row food. Yeah, we just need that generator. Working on it, okay? One step at a time, we are almost done. We just need to finish mining the steel, and that will be enough. Get up, people, and get to work. There's a lot to do. We also have quite a lot of leather. 74 leather. So we could actually use the crafting spot to make tribal wear. Instead of waiting for a tailor's bench. 
requires 60 ingredients. Now that's not a very efficient use of leather, because once we make a tailor's bench, we won't need nearly as many ingredients to make, let's say, a t-shirt, a jacket, at least as far as I remember. Anyway, let's go mine. We still need that generator first. This is going to be the fridge for now. It doesn't need to be huge. Not really. But we are going to need a door. So just deconstruct that. Go finish mining that. We need the steel, thanks. And do we need more wood? Yeah, we are going to need more wood. I'm just going to mark some manually. Is Bradford assigned to chop the trees? He should be. Yep. Okay, so now... We need a wooden door right here. And we'll still need more components, I think. Hold on, the cooler requires... Yep, we need more components. But first, let's get that generator done, alright? We can always get more components up here. We can already build the generator, I think. Yes, we got 100 steel, we got the components. Let's do this. So where do we want it? Not too far away. Over here. Or close to where the cooler is going to be. We can also build it inside this cave. That's not a terrible idea. That way it will be slightly out of the way. So raiders will not try to destroy it. Or at least they might still try to destroy it, but it will be a little bit harder for them to reach. So this is fine. We'll just need some power conduits, but that shouldn't be a problem. I don't think so. Is it a problem? Uh, we'll just need to mine out one section. Maybe two sections. We should mine out that uranium anyway. Because we should be able to sell it for quite a lot once we get another trader. First, let's finish the generator. Here. So now, mine out that granite. What are you doing? Refueling. You can do that later. Let's mine this crap out. It's probably already in range, actually. But we should mine it out anyway. Major break risk. What's happening? Yeah, that's because she was insulted. Well, I hope she's not going to have a mental breakdown, because that would be really bad. She's hungry. Well, it sucks to be her. You need to wait a little bit longer to eat something better. But that is our next priority. The stove. Okay, so another one. We can mine the machinery later. So, power conduit, like this. Yep, we need to mine that one out, and then this two. Yeah, that's fine. However, this is going to be close enough to place a lamp. Yep, this is close enough. Here, and we should still build a floor. Here, we'll just need more wood for that. Two colonies are still not quite enough to get everything quickly. What are you doing? Going for a walk. Make yourself more useful, why won't you? Let's harvest some hill root. We are going to need that for sure. Rice is growing. Already 16% grown. Oh, seriously? Again? Great. Well, that's going to suck. No, that was the older notification, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, actually. His mod will be great, because he has plus 40 from Catharsis. Yep. So, yep, Uranium. Okay, this two. Major break risk. Can we do anything about that? Not really, we just need that insulted modifier to go away. It will go away. We should also clean that blood, because that's a bit too much, maybe. A nicer room should help, and we are working exactly on that right now. Yeah, let's maybe prioritize that first. Make her room look a little bit better. Having a floor will definitely help. Still major break risk. And now she's asleep. I would say we are doing quite okay so far. 
the next few days will be pretty important. Because the problem is, if we get a raid or wild animals or really anything dangerous attacking us, we will be a little bit screwed. We don't really have proper weapons right now, we have a knife and we have a bow, really, that's it. That's all we have, and we should really make our own knife, because it will likely be better than this. However, we are not starving, so that's nice. Let's finish that room first. Cloud watching, what's your recreation? Uh, yeah, she should probably do that, increase her mood. We don't want her- oh, come on, food poisoning, damn it. Well, alright. I guess that's a thing. We could place a stove right now, it will be in range. I'm thinking we should do that. We can always use a fueled stove, but this is actually close enough. It's just that we need materials. This is going to be a problem, though. Yeah, this is going to be a huge problem. I hope he's not going to die from that. He shouldn't, but... You know, it's always a possibility. Let's mine some of that. You know what? We can do the uranium later. It's not really that important right now. What's important is getting steel and components. Let's work on that. We need three components. At least. Probably more. We need one for the cooler. What do we need for the electric stove again? Yeah, two components and 80 steel. Alright then, so that's what we're working on. We still got some food left, 57 potatoes. Should keep an eye on his health. What's his mod? His mod should be fine, as long as he has catharsis, but it will expire in one and a half day. Well, food poisoning was going to happen sooner or later. It's kind of hard to avoid when we got 2% chance to catch it every time we eat. Is this going to be two components? You can really finish refueling later. There. Yeah, that's two components. Okay. So, hold on. Cancel. Now we need steel, right? Yup. Let's go get some steel. How much do we need? 80. We got 16. Right, so once we get 80, we can finish the electric stove. Can we still place a lamp, or do we need to mine out that uranium? Uh, yeah, we can still place it. Alright. That also requires steel, but alright. We are growing some food. I'm still a little bit worried about that break risk, but I'm doing what I can. It's just a minor break risk now. Okay, well, there's the lamp. Someone should really clean up that blood. Anyone? Like, seriously? You can do it. It's your own bedroom. You should take care of it. I should probably change the priorities for that, but that should help his mood a little bit. Some berries. Yep, yeah, harvest botched. Try to not botch the harvest on the hill road. There, we got some hill road. I mean, herbal medicine. Alright then. Food poisoning major. Well, alright. This can wait, it's less important. What's important is steel. I will be a little bit salty if we lose Bradford to food poisoning. But alright. I hope we won't. Intense pain, minus 15. Comfort close to zero, obviously. It's not going to be comfortable, I hate to break it to you. So, still, you might want to finish that before you go. Here, how much is that? 47. Alright, we need, what, 80? We need 80. Anyway, that's going to be the end of this episode. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, or a dislike if you didn't. And let me know what you think so far, and what you think our chances of survival are. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.